Good morning, my friends. It's Monday, February 26th, and I'm here with you at the Rising of the Sun. My little cat is having a very good breakfast, enjoying her food with a beautiful new bowl. And I once again want to revisit this painting on the expulsion of the Garden of Eden from 1420s. Such wailing and pain, it reminds me of mourning. Such rawness. We can never go back there, but we can move forward in Christ into a new life, a new Eden. We continue this morning in the book of Deuteronomy. Moses is standing at the edge of the promised land and he delivers a series of discourses. They're really his, like a valedictory speech or something. He, he's very eloquent and today he stresses something. Most of the Hebrew people by now were the next generation, so they probably were under 20 and he wants them to remember. He says the greatest danger when you get in the promised land and that you get comfortable is that you'll forget God. You'll think that you did this for yourself and you did not do anything for yourself. There is no existence without God. There is no, no victory, no harvest, no produce, no breath without God. If you forget who you are in relationship to God, you're lost. How important for us to remember. And why the Jews tell this story over and over and over again. To remember what God has done for them is a way of saying, I remember that I, I cannot exist without you. You are my very breath. You are the source of life. Nothing that I do that, that works out can be done without you. I stand upon you. You are my ground of being, as Paul Tillich would say. So Moses eloquently points out that our greatest danger is not failure or even violence or war, but our greatest danger is that we forget God and forget who we are in relationship to God. As long as we can keep it clear who God is and who we are, everything will be okay. Remember who you are. Remember that line from the Lion King? Moses says that too. Let us pray. Almighty God, although we left the, the innocence of Eden, we never left you. And we always must remember our dependence on you alone. That every day when we awaken, we awaken because of your grace and your gift. And that none of us is our, none of this is our doing but yours alone. And in that gratitude, we can begin to serve you. We ask that you would bless the sick today, Lord Christ, the dying, the hungry, and those who mourn. We ask that you would bless those who are addicted or mentally ill, incarcerated. We ask that you would grant peace to this world. We ask that you would give us a reverence for this earth, for all of its bounty. And we ask, Lord, that you would make us deeply aware of the fragility of our lives and the grace of the gift of life, that we may always place ourselves firmly in your hands and do your will in all that we undertake. This we ask in the name of Jesus, your Son. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.